we want to find effective resistance between the points A, this is one point, and C, this is the other point. Between these two points, we want to find an effective resistance. Whenever we need to find an effective resistance, we always will have a confusion that who is in series and who is in parallel. Just to avoid that confusion between the two points where you want to find out a resistance, just connect a battery. I am just connecting a battery here, imaginary battery, because battery shall be there for the current to flow. This is how I have just connected a battery. So if you see how the current is passing between the battery plates, from the positive plate current starts, it comes up to here, it comes up to here. After coming to this point C, if you see a little carefully, some current will go like this, some current will go like this, some current will go like this. So its current is simply distributed as uh, I1 rather since I2 and uh, I3. Then all the currents are joined at the point O, it becomes an I and then reach the point A and then reach the negative plate of the battery. So, you can clearly see there is a distribution of the current across these resistors. Current is distributed means the three resistors are in parallel. So, if you draw an equivalent circuit, this is how an equivalent circuit will be. Let me call this point as this B. The other end of the B will be automatically O. This point is C. Other end is again O. This point is D. Other end is again O. This is where our O is there. This point or this point or this point all are same. That's the point O. From O again there is a resistance, identical resistance. From there there is a point A. So this is R. This is R. This is R. This is R. And if you look back your uh, battery, this is how your battery that you have connected in the uh, circuit. So, these two circuits are actually equivalent. If you look, you can understand that. Now, you can clearly see these three resistors are, 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 are parallel. When the resistors are parallel, you can draw an equivalent circuit. You know, resistors are in parallel means uh, they have a formula. Hope you remember. 1 by R parallel is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. But in this problem, all are R itself. That's why I have written R. That's nothing but equal to 3 by R. That's 1 by R parallel. That implies R parallel is nothing but equal to R by 3. So the single resistance here is R by 3. That is the point B. Or you can call it as C. Or you can call that as D. This is the point O. From there onwards, there is another R. This is the point A. And you can draw your battery just for your kind of understanding. Now you can see this R by 3 and this R are in series. We know the formula for R series is R1 plus R2. Whereas R1 is R by 3, R2 is R. So that's going to be equal to 4R by 3. So the effective resistance between the points A and C is nothing but equal to 4R by 3. That's how we can solve the problem. I just want to add one more point to this whole discussion. How about the problem is slightly different? Say this is that uh, circle. If all four resistors are connected everywhere. If the way I am saying like that is, if you see at this point, this A is not connected to this circle, but here this is connected. If that is the case, how do you solve the problem? Hope you understand what I am talking about. The difference between the previous problem and this problem you shall identify. Here is the difference. Here it is connected. Here it is not connected. This is the point O. Now you cannot calculate between the point C and A because C and A are same, they are all connected to the same point. So you, you can find out what is the resistance between the points O and C or O and A is how much. If somebody asks that kind of a question, we can redraw the circuit. This is the point O. 
from here say b from the point it is a d from the same point it is c from the same point it is a all these b c d a are connected in the circle so this is the equivalent circuit of that so it's very clear all these resistors are in parallel therefore 1 by r parallel is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 plus 1 by r4 but all r r itself in the problem that's 4 by r that implies r parallel is equal to r by 4 that's how we can solve the problem